Welcome back. This is going to be a short video on how to install apps on Splunk. With Splunk, you have the ability to create custom dashboards and do a lot of customizations, but to save yourself some time, you can actually use apps that are provided by different vendors or people that created them and put them out there. In order to get access to these apps, you would go to splunkbase.splunk.com, as you can see here, or just do a search for Splunk Base. And you can do search for an app by keyword or technology. So if I do a search for Cisco, a whole ton of them show up. Now some of these can be outdated or old and some of them can be newer. I would recommend kind of looking through and uh, looking at the release notes. Like if, for example, if I click on Splunk add-on for Cisco WSA, it'll have the release date, the version history. Um, sometimes if there's a newer version of the app, it might be in the details. There's also some documentation that's provided under Spl Splunk Docs, if depending on the app. So just be aware of this. and. It'll tell you what kind of source types to add and, and other certain directions. So I've already downloaded a few and um, I'm in my Splunk dashboard right now. Um, so in order to add, add this app, let me go ahead and click on. So right here in the dashboard, there's a um, this is the rec most recent version of Splunk 7.5.2, I believe. And uh, right next to apps, I can click on manage apps. But if you're connected directly connected to the internet, you can also do find more apps and it, you can do the same search from Splunk base. In my case, I'm not directly connected to the app, uh, to the internet on this uh, lab. So I'm just going to go here and I'm, I'm going to install the app from files. So let's go ahead and start here. And uh, I'll start with the Cisco security sweep. The good thing about these apps is a lot of them have pre tons of pre-built dashboards that they just understand to uh, that they need to have the um, which inputs to be taking. So I'll go ahead and I'll restart this later. So a lot of these times they'll ask you to restart the, ser the service. It's just the Splunk service on top of Ubuntu. It's not the overall li Linux server. So just be aware of that. And it usually only takes a couple seconds. So I'm just going to install all these uh, apps that I downloaded in regards to my Cisco devices. And I'll probably go through different video, create different videos to kind of walk through a lot of this with you. So as you can see, it only takes a few seconds to do this. And I'll probably speed up this part of the video just so you're not watching me do this one at a time. All right, and now that I've installed all my apps, I'm just going to restart the service now. And you'll kind of see that it takes only a few seconds to do this. In the next few videos, I'll probably create videos specifically installing the app or starting the app up and uh, sending sources to or data sources to it. So bear with me. I'm not going to do it all in one single video because maybe somebody will be tuning in and they want to see a video for to how to enable a certain app. So let me go ahead and log into this. And going back to the apps, we can actually, now that we've installed them, we can, uh, by default, I believe that looks like they are enabled, so we're good. Um, if I go back to the dashboard, I should see the apps on the, on the left-hand side. Some of the apps, um, the apps themselves just are front end with dashboards and then the, some of the apps I installed are plugins themselves. So the plugins have to be installed first before the dashboard will work. So for example, the Cisco security suite, um, in order to have this work, uh, you have to ha make sure that you have like the add-ons for, if you're, if you're using the WSA dashboard, for example, you have to make sure you have these, these add-ons already installed. So in this case, I already have a lot of this stuff installed. So I'm just going to go ahead and say, go ahead and enable it. Oh, looks like I haven't installed that yet. So just gives you an idea of kind of how to how, level setting of how to just install it f straight uh, first, um, how to enable it in some of the and the fact that you need the add on sometimes. 
important thing is when you do download these things, make sure you, you check out the documentation, see if there's any other dependencies that you need or like any, uh, for example, um, Cisco, let's go back to the Cisco security app, security suite. So in this one, it'll go into details saying like, you'll, if you want to make sure that, uh, that you have the Cisco ASA dashboards working and data collection, you need to have the the add-on for Cisco ASA installed for there. So I'll go ahead and download this first, for example, and make sure that um, that that's installed before I enable this. So that's just kind of an example, but make sure you're reading the documentation and, and have any dependencies installed first before enabling these apps. And in the next few videos, I'll go ahead and go through the actual configuration of each app. Thank you for tuning in and I hope to finish these videos soon for you.